as a pledge for a flag and an anthem for our country too. But what we all need is a universal prayer for one love for me and you. Why do we wait for tragedy to unite us? Then we march, take a stand, and cry out for peace to guide us. Why don't we all let love bind us? And then we will all live the way we were meant to be. When did we become a world of only myself, I, and me? Loving our treasures more than allowing man to be free. How did we become so blind? We can't see that together we can all live in peace and harmony. We behave as if we are better than another, as if race, religion, and status makes one grand. But we all have the same plight amongst us. Earth and death are what unites us. We need one song, one prayer, one voice, one love. We need love. Welcome to the First Lady Show. I am your host, Valerie Raspberry, and I have with me my beautiful co-host. Vanetta May Mayberry. And God bless you. We love you. We have with us the beautiful Dr. Sherry Henderson. Thank you so much for inviting me. It is my pleasure. Yes. Thank you and welcome to the First Lady Show. And let us begin with prayer. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, just thanking you, Father, for all of your wonderful blessings, Father. Thank you for just walking with us, talking with us, traveling with us, uh, going before us in all that we do, making our way clear and straight. We thank you, Father, as you have told us to go ye into the world, Father, this world that is yours, and do what you would have us to do, Father. Bless those that you have assigned to us. And we just thank you, Father, for every opportunity to be a blessing and for all of those that are a blessing unto us. Bless Sherry on her travels, her many travels around the world, Father. And we just thank you, Father, as you are preparing us for our world travels. We thank you, Father, for all of the blessings, the words that she shall impart, the knowledge, that she has to share. And we just thank you, Father, for just uh, opening up world of opportunities. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessed is the man or woman that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, does he meditate day and night? And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he or she does, hallelujah, it shall prosper. At this time, we will have a meditation from the late Pastor G.W. Raspberry because God knew even then, over 25 years ago, God knew that we needed this for such a time as this. And our omnipresent God, present then, prepared it. And we thank you as we prepare and set our minds on God. Let us meditate. We meditate God's word. And as we meditate God's word, the spirit of God merges with our spirit. And we are united. And the Holy Spirit empowers us to Fill ourselves with the power of God. We are 
children of God. And by the Spirit we are united. And by the Spirit we come together. And by the Spirit we are led. And by the Spirit we obey and go into places and situations that are only spirit. Come go with me and find the greater self. God in me, God in you is greater than that which is in the world. God in you, God in me, empowers us to feel the greatest magnitude of being that is possible. The greatest potential of self is before us. The greatest power possessed by man, possessed of God, given to man, is within us. The greatest power is at work. The greatest force in all the world. So great that no power in the world can move against it. God is the greatest force, the magnetic power that binds and holds a universe together. The universe within me is at work to do all that I desire. All that is within is one with God. All that is within me is empowered to be and to do the will of God. And as I do the will of God, I am so blessed by him that I said, thank you, Father. Dr. Henderson, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am a native Detroiter. Uh, I attended Cass Technical High School in Michigan State University and Ashland Theological Seminary. And I've done uh, continued education work at Harvard uh, Business Institute, Yale University and Stanford. And so uh, I've always had a heart for the city of Detroit and um, I lived in the Lansing area for 18 years and um, about five years ago, decided to move back home. And so um, I'm happy to be here in the Detroit area. I am a business owner. Uh, uh, the name of my company is the Global Business Development Firm. And that company was uh, sort of birthed from all of the things that I had done uh, in my professional career uh, up until 2012. And so that included missions work, uh, education and business. And so I'm uh, pretty much married all three together and um, came up with the global business development firm, which really is uh, my true calling because I take pleasure in helping businesses, ministries, organizations, and associations with uh, going into various countries and cities around the world. And uh, I've really uh, have established some really great relationships 
um, over the past 25 years of traveling internationally. And so um, thank you so much for having me on your show today. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share about the goodness of God, because I always say, um, may he alone be glorified. I'm simply answering the call that he put on my life uh, years ago uh, to do ministry and to go ye into all the world. It was actually during a, and I don't talk about this often, but I kind of want to mention this, especially on your show, uh, First Lady, because it was during a um, fast and during, it was during a uh, sort of like a monastic moment where I attended a, an event that was actually hosted by Juanita Bynum at Lifeline Church. And it was called Seeking God for Seven Days. And that seven days turned into 12 days. And we actually stayed in the church the entire time. And it was during that time where God spoke to me and really laid out the blueprint for my life. And I think it was around 1995. And I could clearly hear the Lord say, you were going to travel to the four corners of the world in the next four years. And that was going to be training for what I'm calling you to do. And um, one of the reasons why I want to bring that up is because one of the first nations that God sent me to was Russia. And in lieu of everything that's happening today with Ukraine and Russia, I remember standing there little black girl from the east side of Detroit, right? I remember standing there in Red Square. I have a picture of me standing there in Red Square and um, looking at, you know, the community and the area and all of the governmental politics that were taking place at the time coming out of the Cold War and all of that. And then a group of us, um, actually went to Belarus. So I remember also going to Belarus and Smolensk and being the only African-American in this entire group of about 300 people. I remember going and visiting the various orphanages that were there. And there were several kids that were there who, um, children who were uh, victims of Chernobyl. I was just thinking the other day, what a mighty God we serve, right? Um, because all of that is in my DNA. You know, at the time, you know, I remember being in Russia and I, when I first came back, I uh, was telling the story about how the little grandmothers, right, the bambushkas, they would walk up to me and they would rub my face like, they would rub my face and they would rub my arm because they had never seen a black person before, right? Um, and so they would rub my face and my interpreter at the time was saying, yeah, yeah, you know, like, no, like stop touching her, stop touching her. I remember one day on the train, God reminded me, you came here to be touched and to touch people. It's okay, you know? Um, but I've had an amazing life. Um, God has truly uh, blessed me with great opportunities to travel the world over 20 uh, countries. And it truly has been a blessing. So thank you so much for having me. And thank you so much. That's quite a um, testimony and quite a, a story to be able to tell. God said to you that he brought you there to be touched. Yeah. And yeah. that you may touch others. He wants you to be touched, you know, because so many times, you know, if somebody rub your face, you think, oh, you can't rub the black <laughs> off, you know. <laughs> right. You know, right. You know what goes through our mind, or they right. try to touch our hair, yes. pull our hair, or something yes. of that nature, you know. You feel some kind of way initially, but God had to kind of reel you back in. I didn't send you over here for you not to be touched. I want right. you to be touched. I want them to know you're real. I was early in my 20s when I first started. And so it was a learning curve, um, trip after trip. And uh, I wouldn't change a thing because God has been so faithful to me. Amen. Amen. Oh, it's so beautiful. And, and to think 
you know, you as that was your beginning. But now when I met you, it, you were just you were just not a stranger. I mean, you know, from the moment I spoke with you and the moment we began to speak, you said, um, well, let me just introduce you just to this person. He's the president of and CEO of uh, uh, his heritage vision. I might, I'm going to say it because since that time, heritage vision has actually come on as a sponsor with us, yes, you know, yes. um, and, and she's like, um, and let me introduce you to this person and that person. And, you know, just, just from just a few moments of meeting each other. And so I could see that that aura, that spirit of, of that friendly spirit was just, totally there where you i can imagine if you travel around the world like you do you probably don't necessarily travel with your family all the time or if ever because um and but it but it but you don't you probably never meet a stranger either so it's not odd to you in a strange land meeting all new people right you know, so that's, that's something so my mom always you know. says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something my mom always says. Yeah. Sherry's never met a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> and I've met <laughs> some of the most amazing people yeah. uh, who I'm still in contact with today. And uh, I'm going to share this broadcast with folks like, you know, uh, Lada, who I just met on a plane. She was on her way to, on her way to Denmark to uh, be with her mother before she passed away. And um, and we became Facebook friends. And Daryl Tillman out of New York, uh, we were uh, at a meet, passing each other at, at, a, at a hotel in New York. And been friends, you know, ever since. And there's so many people like that, that I've met and we're still friends to this day, you know, um, and it has just been a great, experience meeting people and learning about people and really you know we have more in common than we'll ever have you know uncommon i, I suppose and so mm -hmm. i take pleasure in meeting new people all the time amen, yeah, amen. Right. and and you know it's it's an odd thing um years ago when my late husband started his um uh, started his church um he actually called it he was led to call it the free will gospel mission. Mm -hmm. Because as during that time, we were in New York and in New York and New Jersey in that area. And of course, you know, it is a United Nations. <laughs> yes. of, uh, just a, a world of people from all around the world. And he was always that type of person too. You think I'm from, he was mm -hmm. that type. He was that huggy, kissy type too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, always, so he never met any strangers and he would talk with people and, and meet people from, you know, back then when, um, back in 92, 93, when um, the Ethiopian Jews were um, the Israel Israelites actually uh, airlifted the Ethiopian Jews to Israel. And mm -hmm. he actually, he and I actually worked with that actually that group of Jewish people that were actually responsible for doing that and did some work for them because with our business we had a um, business in New York, and it was interesting because some of the um, one of, one of the persons that worked in our office actually um, this young Jewish girl she kind of took on my husband as like a father figure to nice. us, you know, and, and so it was uh, interesting how people see you as universal, some, you know, from around the world, you know, mm -hmm. they, they don't necessarily, everybody isn't like it is here in many parts of America, so segregated in some, mm -hmm. so many parts mm -hmm. of the world, yeah. they don't see just your color when they see you, they see what you're made of, that what you, you know, what it's, it's not what you, what you say, is what you do. It's yeah. who you are. Yeah. They, they see beyond mm -hmm. 
all of that. And that's the beautiful, that's the beauty of life, you know, um, and going beyond the walls and beyond um, uh, just our own selfish and, and um, dreaming and thinking big and, yes. and allowing God to, to show you. Because, you know, as, as I started the, um, the First Lady show, for instance, God told me to not just do small things, but to dare to ask for all of the people that I want on the show, anybody. Yes. You know, from Michelle Obama <laughs> to yes. Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence to uh, uh, Oprah Winfrey. She hasn't been on yet. <laughs> But you know, Mary Sheffield, president of the city um, city council now in in Detroit, Mary Waters, um, Sherry Gage Danyogo. You know, just it doesn't matter. God said, just ask. Yes. Step yes. out, ask, and I'll set it up. I'll I'll make it happen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, and we're telling you. Yep, and when, when, it, when it yeah. comes to, um, and one of the things that I really admire about you, Sherry, also is how you are really working with women in business and helping them go global. Can you tell us a little bit about your um, global women's organization, Black women's organization? Yes. So um, Ambassador uh, Susan Johnson Cook, she was appointed an ambassador by uh, President Obama. I sit as one of the board members of the Global Black Women Chamber of Commerce. And I've also been the chairwoman of various uh, business uh, women organizations. When I was in Lansing, I was a chairwoman of the uh, Greater Lansing Women's Forum, which collectively was about 200 uh, business women. I currently uh, sit as the president of MAFI, which is the Michigan Association of Female Entrepreneurs. And Tanya McNeil Rury is our founder. And um, I also work with several other uh, business women, helping them with developing and managing their business and positioning it for various growth plans. And we want to help more uh, Black businesses, not just be local or uh, regional at best, but we want mm -hmm. uh, to help the Black businesses establish a national and international growth plan. And so right now we own nothing uh, when it comes to chains and franchises at large. Mm -hmm. And because we don't have that capacity, we're unable to compete. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. one of our clients out of Chicago, he's growing and expanding his franchise brand. He has a sub shop. Uh, he has three locations. It's called Unbeatable Eatables. Really great sub, really great guy, Christopher Favors. But he has three locations and Subway has 40,000. And so we're not a threat to anyone uh, right. when it comes to the marketplace. And so we help um, minority-owned, Black-owned, women-owned businesses with growing and expanding their brand. Last year on our first trip to Kenya, um, we um, met with some folks and they wanted us to uh, establish... Uh, a satellite company in Kenya. And so that was uh, in May. And when I returned in October, we launched a uh, global business development firm, Kenya. And we did our whole ribbon cutting there. Oh, and we have a whole ribbon. team there now uh, in Kenya. And so we have, um, you know, uh, an office there in Kenya yeah. and a whole team of folks helping business owners with development. And so I'm so proud of my Kenya team. You know, I always brag on my uh, US team and I say they're bad to the bone. You know, <laughs> I love my team, Michael Dorsey. He is just A1 first class. My whole team is just bad to the bone, but my Kenya team, they bad to the bone too. <laughs> trying to build a nation of people, even here in the United States, but over there, people say, well, hey, what about us over here? What about us? We need to come together. And yeah. it's, it's talking about building a nation of people. We're looking for, like I said, global industry that will come together 
That's why I, I thought about this green book. I've been we've been working on it for three years. Well, I have, and it is just the idea that now that it's coming, everything is coming. I thank God. We're not even we're not kicking doors down. We're just we're walking through doors. God has opened right. so many right. doors for us. We have been moving things. Now we want to go global. And now that we got in contact with you, it's nobody but God. Nobody Amen. but God. And I thank Amen. God that we have come together and you and we can make this thing happen because we need the communication. That paper, that that green book, when they come here, we can we can go back and forth. We can buy products and bring money into the into that nation. Spend your money. Let's keep our black dollar black. There's development, there's building construction of schools, hospital, roadways. Um, mm. And with the Global Business Development mm. Firm, we mm -hmm. have a quadruple bottom line, and we'll talk about it too at our conference, is people, purpose, plan, and profit. And so every single company that we take abroad must commit to participating in a humanitarian effort there on the yeah. ground. You can't just take your baskets or your television, whatever you have to sell. You have to connect with the people there on the ground. And so um, every single last one of our clients must be willing to build relationships and leave that country better than the way they Amen. found it. They found it. Yes. Yeah, that's what that, is, do, that is what we require of every yes. single last one of our clients. You must participate in a humanitarian effort, whether you're here just now nationally or internationally, internationally. all of our global yeah. business development firm yeah. clients and our franchise enterprise clients too, you know, yeah. um, because that's really how you grow and expand your brand. Yeah. You know, McDonald's um, is well known for their Ronald McDonald house, right? And so yeah. every single last one of these national, international brands you know, that's how you gain popularity. That's how you, you know, really continue to build structure in your company is that you sold back into the lives of the people that you serve. Amen. And, 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 and when when you talk about that, I think about um, Dr. Adrian Johnson, which we um, kind of talked about a little earlier, in which she talks about when she's been on the show a couple of times and she talks about how um, when she went over to um, to Ghana, she noticed that they had this issue with sanitary napkins and the and the young women and women with their periods. And at first, she thought she could solve it by just buying a bunch of sanitary napkins and having them shipped over there, and that would resolve their issues, right? But mm -hmm. as she said, as she got over there, she realized they they didn't have the disposal system for it, so they right. didn't have the garbage system for it right. and they didn't have um and it wasn't feasible for them to to buy these on their own so if you weren't gonna keep giving it to them they weren't gonna be able to uh, even purchase them. on their own so she so she decided what i what i need to do is give them something that they can make a business out of yes they can go into business for themselves and this yes. would free not only free women from, from the bondage of thinking that their periods are not natural and that it was a burden, but they could actually sell to each other mm -hmm. and, and make look, um, you know, make a living with this. Cause this, these are, like you say, developing nations where in many cases they hadn't even started developing those areas, those rural areas. Mm -hmm. So by her, showing these women taking sewing machines and giving that to them and teaching them how to sew they could yeah. not only sew the sanitary napkins but they could sew clothing Absolutely. and other items that yeah. they already needed yeah. anyway so cool. you know like, as you say that humanitarian effort is yes. so important not just using your gifts to make money for you but to, to um, help to lift someone else 
um, you know, give not, you know, to um, have that human aspect, you know, yes. more to it than just business, yes. not just business. For many, there is, you know, um, for many people, it is just business, but yeah, because there are that, 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 that love and, and care yes. for the people and with your product, you could become a much bigger company even then because the people see you care about them. You're not just over yes. there. Yes. Yeah, we've, we've had the uh, ambassador to Ghana on our show. Yes. Awesome. Um, so, mm -hmm. I, so we can open that, 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 uh, you know, we can open some doors. Let's, let's do this. This That's what I'm talking. I'm, I'm ready to get busy. Like, come on. Yeah. Let's, I'm let's looking forward to uh, meeting Ms. Johnson. I'm really yes. looking forward to, uh, meeting with her and working with yes. her, serving with her. Um, she, she, she's, she's got uh, the, the secret sauce because that's really, yes. Yes. that's really what it is. You know, it's really all about, you know, serving others and yes. in this process. Cause I thank God for you. Thank you. Thank you for thank coming you. on the show. Thank you. Uh, God is, God is going to do some miraculous things for us all. And I thank God for you. A lot of <laughs> companies have already been global, and I think it's really gonna, uh, it's gonna be our company that's really gonna make the difference in these international uh, communities. And that's really what our conference is all about as well. We will yeah. also have people at the conference to talk about the STEP grant. The STEP grant uh, provides funding and reimbursements for travel. Uh, two countries that will cover airfare and hotels and conferences mm -hmm. and meeting opportunities. And so um, the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, that's part of our conference as well. Amen. Sign me up now. <laughs> Sign me up now. <laughs> yeah, so it's March 24th yes. from, March 24th from uh, 9 a.m. Yeah. to 3 p.m. And uh, March 25th is the one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching for your business. So you can sign up for a time and get free uh, consulting uh, for your business. And uh, so it's Michigan's only two-day global business conference. And I'm so happy mm -hmm. that we are in our 10th year. Amen. Wonderful. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. We'll, we'll be there with bells on and all that good stuff. I'm, I'm telling you. Of Absolutely. Course. We are so excited and thank yes, you so you. much for sharing sharing your gift and your yes. um, your ministry with us. Thank you so much um, yes, for yes, yes. just coming on the First Lady Show. Um, and uh, certainly not let's not let this be the last time. <laughs> Hey, yeah. I already told her. She already in the family. We like mafia. Like I said, we mafia. Once you're in, can't get you out. Not get out. <laughs> can't get out. She we ain't letting you out. out. We ain't letting you go. Hey, right. we love you too much to let you go. So uh, we just uh, thank you. It's such an honor yes. and a privilege to be blessed by such a beautiful lady of wealth and knowledge that uh, has you have bestowed upon us. We thank you. As first ladies over here, hey, anytime. Mm -hmm. You could come on before you have your your uh, your uh, uh, event and talk about it again. Please come back within uh, before uh, March 25th. Please come back. I'm Go going ahead. to put um, a coupon code uh, for, and we'll just make it Green Book and talk about it again. We're looking Amen. forward to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we can put a flyer out, and get get your stuff out. Mm -hmm. um, two words as a coupon code. So when people go on and register, they can register on our website at gbdfirm.com, girlboydavidfirm.com. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's a link uh, to our Eventbrite page for registration. Mm -hmm. And so I will just make the um, the the code green book and then all mm -hmm. of the uh, people who listen to your show and want to register, will be able to uh, attend the conference free of charge. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you so thank much. you so much. Yes. We'll, we'll have some yes. thank we'll you. Thank you. We'll certainly get that information oh, yes. out. As, as we did the um, Black Wall Street Expo of wor worldwide businesses just this past Sunday in Lathrop Village, um, 
it was just overwhelming response. I mean, it was, oh my God, it overflowed. We burst out the seams so much. Now this idea as uh, May, May so humble, this was her idea, the um, Black Wall Street and also the Green Book, but not just the Green Book and not just the Black Wall Street. But as we got together our minds we thought about let's make this global. Yes. That's not just local, but global. global. It turned into that. We had businesses there from Florida, from Ghana, from uh, uh, Texas, from uh, just uh, uh, Washington, Atlanta, DC, Washington, Washington, DC, from all over the place. And it's wow. and so much so that we got to do it again and we got to do it again soon. Yeah, so we we're looking do at doing it again before the month yeah, of March is probably, up. We got to do it again because everybody, we had so many people and, and, the, and the information that we gave, we gave information about, um, about how you could buy homes and as well as loans and grants. And uh, we talked about so many different things. Plus we got a key to the city mm -hmm. that we, we are, uh, we are uh, to have our Black Wall Street every uh, fourth, Sunday in February there in uh, South of Lathrop. We got, so it's just, and uh, like I said, the vendors and all the people that speak, the speakers, uh, Tuskegee um, Airmen, they showed up, they're, you know, looking for monies to build, um, put their um, statue of the Tuskegee Airmen on marble now. They have it on cement, but uh, that um, monument must be, you know, put up at our city airport. And uh, we, we're, we're working on that. We're working on a lot of different things. So um, we're looking forward to coming to your event. And we just thank you for opening up that door for us. We just, uh, it's a great honor. Thank you Amen. so, much, so, so much. God bless you. We love you. And uh, yes. hope to hear from you again soon. We'll see you soon. It has been such a wonderful day here today on the First Lady Show. I am your host, Valerie Raspberry. I have with me my beautiful co-host. Vanetta May Mayberry. God bless you. We love you. Thank you. Hey, Amen. share, share, share. Like, like, like. Put it out there. We have some wonderful information on from this show. Valerie, tell them about it. Go ahead and do it. Amen. Amen. It has been wonderful. Our, our guest on today. Dr. Sherry Henderson, who is a global ambassador, and she has been sharing information on doing business global, taking your business global, making that footprint, taking that, oh, that leap and going ye in, into all nations. Hallelujah. Thank and you, doing brother. business. That's what we've been missing, Black people, my sisters, my brothers. That's what we've been missing. Yes. We need to make an impact around the world, right. not yes. just here locally, but around the world, doing yes. business yes. globally. Thank and you. I just thank God for that. And we will be sharing further information about the global co business conference that's coming up yes. that Sherry talked about earlier. We're going to share that on the, on our Facebook and also um, we'll be sharing that information on YouTube. So we're going to share all of that information. Thank you so much, Sherry, Dr. Sherry Henderson, for your for, for sharing the gift, being a blessing to us and being a blessing to our audience. We just love you and we thank God for you. Yes. And, uh, 
Again, watch us every Saturday from 12 noon to 2 p.m. here on Facebook and on YouTube. We just love you and we thank God for you watching the First Lady Show. And we love you and we will see you next week. Love you. Have a blessed day. God bless. And continue to dream big and let God breathe life into your dreams vision, and purpose. Thank you. Amen. Share, share, share. Like, like, like. Love you. Amen. <laughs>